What's up? This is Atarik here. So Indivelo might not be a widely recognized app in the indoor cycling space. It is a smaller project that has been gaining widespread attention. And since the news dropped about Wahoo RGT closing down, there's been a surprising shift to Indivelo. And a bunch of diehard RGT fans started to flock to Indivelo and setting up their own clubs and basically turning it into their new virtual cycling home base. And as I have mentioned before, the indoor cycling space is no flat road. It is a mountain climb uh, dominated by two powerhouses, Zwift and Peloton. And Zwift has captured the hardcore cyclists with its competitive edge, and Peloton has captured the fitness enthusiasts with their high energy instructor led classes. And Indivelo is navigating this tight race with a focus on the tech that matters most to the serious riders. And we're talking about performance verification and riding physics. And the creator realized they do not have what it takes to take on the big players. So they have a different strategy. So let's take a look at Indivelo and break down their strategies. And their first strategy is credibility. Indivelo is a platform where racing isn't just a feature. From the starting line, their vision was clear. Create an app where competitive racing is ingrained in its DNA, not just tacked on as an afterthought. Now, here's where Indivelo shifts gears from the competition. They are not just looking at your wattage output. They are diving deep into the nitty gritty of riders' physiology. Think about it. Is someone pushing beyond humanly possible limits? How does a rider's history paint a picture of their performance trajectory? They scrutinize everything. Heart rate fluctuation against power, cadence, the interplay of intensity and duration. And they are not stopping at the human elements. They are just as rigorous with the hardware. They check the gear you are using, everything from trainer, calibration, to flywheel data, and even down to serial numbers. They are examining every detail, both as a standalone data and in comparison to others with similar setup to prevent any under the table modification. And Develo also gives you the ability to record both your smart trainer power and your power meter into a single dual recorded fit file. They have constructed the architecture of their platform with integrity as the cornerstone. You know those loopholes that other platforms struggle with? Things like tampering with physics parameters or those low key cheats like sandbagging, they have been engineered out of Indivelo. All the physics calculations are happening on the server side. Fully automatic multiplayer matchmaking so riders cannot choose to race against others that they could easily beat. Your physical stats are locked and loaded server sides as well when you join and preventing any mid-race digital doping. Also, as an event organizer, you will have access to special broadcast stream menu to broadcast your event. You can view the results of your event and download the results in CSV files so you can analyze the data. They even support DS mode for team managers with the ability to have configurable camera view into the event and the ability to send in-game team chats to your team. They even have support for a race official that can spectate events and disqualify riders from racing. And their next strategy is to focus on features and innovation. When you boot up in Indivelo, it might look like a blast from the past, but the setup is straightforward and simple. Downloading and getting the app running is simple. Just know that Indivelo is still in beta and it is sticking to Windows and Mac OS for now, and they have no plan on spreading to other platforms like Android, iPad, or Apple TV at the moment. The folks behind Indivelo are playing the agility game, opting to roll out updates fast without getting tangled in the App Store red tapes. Now, for those of you who are all about high-res graphics, you might need to dial back your expectations here a bit. The visuals on Indivelo leans toward the retro, which is all part of the plan. The team's been honing in on the tech side of things, uh, prioritizing features and innovation rather than graphics, and you will see that right away. The ride physics are on point, and features like realistic cornering, braking, and drafting. You even see wind speed and direction, which is really neat. And speaking of braking, Indivelo uses their proprietary algorithm to determine the maximum speed a rider can take around a corner, and this is going to be different for every rider because it depends on the on your speed and the tire grip for the line you are taking. So not everyone will be going around a corner at the same speed. And that's where 
uh, race strategy and placement come into play. And their next strategy is to copy Zwift. And their approach has been to incorporate as many features from Zwift as they possibly could. And you will see the similarities as soon as you log in from the interface design, virtual routes and gamification to social features like group rides, racing and challenges to avatar customization, steering, even their keyboard shortcuts are almost identical. The similarities are very clear, but hey, that's not a bad thing. Companies do this all the time and copy each other and having a familiar interface and functionalities users might already be familiar with is a win for the end user. But they did not stop there. Endivelo added its unique flavor on things like the ability to for a lot more customization. For example, you can customize what display you want to keep on the screen. You can see your average power for each interval. And my favorite feature is the always sunny mode. That's right, no virtual rain to dampen your spirit, every ride's array of sunshine. Virtual shifting is baked into the app, so you can just leave your trainer on one gear and use a plus and minus button to increase decrease resistance. And this is sweet for folks with the Zwift Hub 1 with the cog since it is not compatible with other apps that do not support virtual shifting. Also, if you have a smart bike, your gear info will be displayed on the screen as you see here with the kicker bike shift. So Indivelo is totally free for now, but for those who want to chip in and support the project, there is a membership option at $12.99 a month or an annual option for $129.99 US dollars per year. And joining the membership gets you into the Indie Velo Founders Club where you do not just support the app's growth, you also get the bragging rights to be in the Founders Club and some additional perks. So here's a scoop in Indie Velo. It is a one-man show. The developer, George Gilbert, is not trying to compete with the heavyweights. He's well aware that one person isn't going to outpace companies with hundreds of staff. In my chat with him, he made his strategy crystal clear to me. It is not about beating the competition or luring users away. Instead, his aim is to perfect his tech, to be an innovator, and eventually to partner with the bigger platforms. What George has created is more than just an app, it's a showcase of sought after features that he's willing to share with the giants of this space. He's basically waving a flag at the big names and saying, look what I've built here. It is what your user want and I'm open to collaborate. And it is not just talk. George is walking the walk by continuously rolling out new features driven by community feedback on a weekly basis, which you can view on their website. So here's my take. Whether Indivelo stay solo or get scooped up by Zwift or my wash or my two cents, Trainer Road should be giving Indivelo a serious look. Just imagine Trainer Road best in class adaptive training joining forces with Indivelo's cutting edge race tech. Just throwing this out there. But I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Indivelo? If you've given it a try, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Let's chat in the comments. All right, there you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to share it with, your, with anybody in your life that enjoys cycling. And if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, you know what to do. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.